morning, an eye-opening study shining light on distracted driving and the habits that put your safety at risk on the roads. NBC's Tom Costello's got that story for us this morning. Hi, Tom. Good morning. Hi, Savannah. Good morning to you. As you are walking out the door this morning, AAA says, please be careful. The number of us who are now admitting that we are texting or talking on the phone while driving is up dramatically, doubling in five years. The risk now thought to be greater than aggressive driving or drunk driving. Rush hour in America this morning, and more drivers are driven to distraction. Talking, texting, drifting off. Watch this man just miss a pickup, then plow right into the median. Or this bus driver is so distracted on his phone, he fails to notice traffic had stopped. But while nearly almost all motorists tell AAA they know it's dangerous to take their eyes off the road, most admit they still do it. You can actually look from your car in the rearview mirror of their car and see them looking down. They're probably texting, eating, only God knows. There's always an urge to kind of reach down and check your device. Well, actually, Dad doesn't do what Mom does. Mom does? Now, 88% tell AAA texting behind the wheel should be banned. But 45% admit they've read messages while driving. And more than a third say they've sent one, making their risk of a crash eight times as high. And think hands-free are safe? Watch as this woman with earbuds blows right through a stop sign. Cindy Cooper was six months pregnant with her twin daughters when a teen talking on her phone missed a stop sign, killing Cindy's father, John. My dad was thrown over her vehicle and landed on the curb and his motorcycle was scattered along the side of the road. Um, she ran right by him and never called 911. Now celebrities like Mark Wahlberg say things have to change. I pledge to put my phone down and hashtag just drive and I am asking all of you watching this video to do the same. Yeah, it sounds like he's right, but I think a lot of people, Tom, sometimes feel that pull, like I just want to respond to one quick thing, yeah. just something really fast, but give us some ways we can kind of break those crummy habits. Yeah, a couple of things. First of all, the recommendation is that you should put your phone out of reach. Put it in the back seat, put it in the glove compartment, whatever it takes. If you need your phone for GPS, program the GPS before you ever leave so that you're not tempted to go do it while you're driving. And lastly, take